Hello beautiful people, how are you guys doing? Uh, well, um, well, I was supposed to start with the blog pattern video before we come into the app, but uh, no worries regarding that. We will be starting the blog pattern. Uh, I will include the videos on blog pattern and Rx Dart because that's something we're going to use uh, on this project. Okay, uh, that was a small side note, and uh, this particular video I didn't want to include on this course uh, because I, I mean, I was like, many of you guys already know how to connect your Android and iOS apps to the Firebase. But since there, there may be someone who doesn't know really how to do that, I will include this video. So if you don't want to see me just configuring Android and uh, iOS on our Firebase, feel free to skip this video. No problem. Uh, what we have here, I went ahead and I created a small app ha which has uh, two files for now. We have one folder called screens and we have the main.dart. Here on the main.dart we only have a stateless uh, widget which is calling our material app uber clone and uh, we have here my home page which is a stateful class which we define here and there's nothing special here we just have a basic stateful widget with a scaffold a bar which says uber clone and then we have a center widget here we are going to change all of this UI this is not supposed to be like that but that's not the goal for this video uh, let's try to make this very quick very quick and uh, let's go first of all I already have here I created a project on Firebase and I called that project uber clone and it's very simple just have to go create project next 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 there's not there's nothing too special there uh, we're going to hit here Android and first we're going to tag the package name Increase my brightness a bit. Okay, let me go back to my app. And we're going to open Android and going to open app and you're going to open source, then main because we want to open the manifest. And here is our no 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 no. This is the wrong this is the blog pattern one. Okay, here. Um again over clown, okay open and we're going to open app and we're going to open source and then we're going to open main and here we have all manifest and what we're going to do here is copy the package name and when we have that done we'll go back to our app and just paste the package name here we can write here uber clone just like that and here we have to provide a SHA key or SHA1 I don't know how you call it but to do that you just go to Google and write Android client out and you're going to get the first link after you write that and if you are on Windows just select Windows if you're on Mac or Linux just select Mac Linux you're going to copy this code here and we are going to open the terminal and paste this in here hit enter and for the password you're going to write Android okay and here we have our sh one key and this is very important because you're going to be integrating Google sign in and all of that stuff so you have to have this uh, I have a lot of projects here let me take a second to close the projects that we are not currently using okay this is our project okay let me open this we have our sh a key here but we have a small issue and the issue is probably because I didn't copy the key properly and we have a space here okay problem solved you just hit register app and now we have to download the Google service 
uh okay you just hit on download but for me i have to go to my downloads to make sure that i don't have that because i usually when i am configuring another apps you see here if you already have this you just delete it i have because i configured so many apps and i download the google service dot json and if i download it again we may have some conflict so make sure you don't have any file with that name on your download folder and you just hit download and uh, it's super quick you just hit next and here let me hit show in folder and uh, is the download done okay I hope so oops we'll copy this and uh, after we copy the Google JSON file Google service JSON file you just come here to the app folder and you will paste that file here and just hit OK and we have the Google service file done uh, what we want to do now is let's go back to first we're going to copy this code and we are going to paste it on our build gradle but make sure that the first build gradle is this one which is outside the app folder and you just come here to dependencies and paste this now we copy this again we are going to go back to our build gradle but now we want this one inside our app and you go down here to dependencies paste this and uh, after that we what you will want to do is you copy this apply Google service and just like that paste it here okay most of the copy and pasting task is done let's try to run our app to see if things are going to work the way we want them to so just hit next and here we'll, we'll be waiting for the connection so what I'm going to do here is I'll close the app and I'll run the app again let us run this app to make sure everything is fine okay in the meantime I hope something breaks because uh, I would like to show you how to fix some stuff so you just come here and write flutter fire because we want to get the, the, the dependencies for the firebase we're going to use so we just hit flutter fire and it's going to take you here and here we are going to select the ones we're going to use for now we want the cloud fire store mm, this is taking more time than expected this is taking more time than expected okay okay I'm having some connection problems. Okay, okay. Let's go back. Uh, let's go back to our Firebase. having a small issue with my internet connection but okay anyways I can try to change my connection here 
to see if this improves. But since I have another project here, uh, there's something I may want to show you guys here and there. I was expecting to get a problem here, which has to deal with the uh, Android X and saying the dependencies are not compatible to Android X because I would like to show you guys how to fix that issue. And it's not something very difficult to do. You just have to copy this code. Let me go back to my other project I have here. I was facing the same issue. Um, what you have to do is you're going to open Android, you just open Gradle Preferences and you copy these two lines of code and you'll paste them here. I will put these two lines on the description and you have to paste them on uh, Gradle Properties. If you don't do this, you may have some issues related to to Android X. Okay, with that done, let me see if my connection is back on track. Okay, it's not really fast, but it's okay. Let's let's copy Cloud Store, and now we will open our pub spec Yelm. Dependencies. Make sure the indentation is correct. We paste it here, and now uh, to save us some time, I guess I have a project with all of that. So we'll need the Firebase Auth and Firebase Database. You can just Google for these dependencies, and you're going to get them. I'm just copying for, from this project because my connection is not really, really fast. So you need Cloudfire Store, you will need uh, Firebase Auth and Firebase Database. And then you hit Packages Get. Let me close the project here on my mobile device. Run it again just to make sure everything is fine. Let's try to run it and see if we're going to find any error. Uh, at the meantime, while this is processing, let's configure our iOS. So let's go back to our console, click Add App, and we're going to select iOS. And now we want to iOS bundle ID. And how do we find the bundle ID? Okay, we have an issue here. No, it's just a note. How do we find the bundle ID while this is processing? Uh, configuring the iOS is pretty simple actually you just hit and uh, you hit you open iOS you can come here to the runner Xcode proj and just click reveal in finder and after that is done we're going to open this and it's going to open on Xcode, you just select runner, and this is what we want our bundle ID. We can copy it from here, and just like that, we will paste it here. You can write Uber clone iOS, then hit next. Now, we will want to download this Google Info Police. It's a small file, so it's going to take seconds to download. It's done. Now, you just go and select on it and show in folder. Here we have the file. What we want to do with this file is we want to drag it and drop it under inside runner. Just hit finish. And this is all we need to do here. You can just close Xcode. 
and our iOS configuration is almost done as well next you don't have to do any of these next next and here is the stage we had okay we had a small error here build fail app transform uh, okay let's fix this issue on one of the things that we have to do and I forgot to give, give that annotation is we have to pass something inside um, let me do something let me just open one of my projects because oh where is that this one I just want to copy and paste something here we are going to our app build gradle multi dex enable true we want to copy this to solve that error so uh, what are we going to do is let's go back to our add app and just hit the uh, and I'm getting call but I will check and just hit the um, excuse me so we will come to our Android app again our build gradle our app build gradle and uh, on our default configuration we want to come down here and just paste this multi text enable true and let's try to run our app now and this will resolve all the conflicts we may have this may take a couple seconds to load and I will I will I will put in the description this uh, multi dex enable true which you want to pass inside of the build gradle inside of the app android then app we want to pass this to solve that issue and I will pass the code we want to pass on our gradle properties to solve the conflicts with android x that's all you have to do because I, I believe most of you guys are encountering these problems so while this is loading to make sure everything is fine we will hit our simulator and I'm running a lot of things at the same time I hope nothing crashes because of that so here for our Android app is done is completely configured to our Firebase we can just go back to Android Studio uh, our app is connected we can just stop it this is all we wanted and just select iPhone X and run our app as well here is the app connected on our iOS is the app connected on our Android device and here is the confirmation saying that the app for both iOS and Android are connected so from the next video we will enable uh, Google Maps peace